Quickly, uh, I don't know if you saw this earlier this week, the Virginia Senate passed the bill to reduce the sentences for assaulting police. Once again, Virginia on the wrong side of history. <laughs> what? What has happened to you? What happened? I mean, it, it's, it's more than just the blackface governor. What happened to Virginia? The Democrat Senate passed legislation this week, excuse me, legislation, reducing penalties for assaulting police by allowing judges' discretion to diminish the charges from a felony to a misdemeanor. So what that is, is a wink and a nod to assault police. That's the Democrat Senate saying, yeah, I know you assaulted them, but come on, <laughs> I wouldn't want to, wink, not. There is a six-month mandatory minimum prison sentence for convictions that was eliminated. So there's no mandatory minimum any at all. And then the judges are now empowered by the law to distinguish between minor and serious assaults. Translation, oh, come on, that was only a brick. It wasn't like slavery or anything. You should have been hit in the head with three bricks. So that will have a, a, you know, I know I just sounded like a, a freshman Democrat representative, but so that's happening. That's just, that's mind blowing. Think about what's happened for the last six months. And then this week, instead of politicians in a blue state saying, hey, you know what? We need to tighten this up to protect law enforcement and preserve law and order. They go to the next step. We've been watching so much of this stuff on TV in the blue cities, and it seems to be going so well. Let's make it a misdemeanor. And very quickly, I just want to say thank you and commend again the U.S. Marshals who just res they just rescued 39 missing children in Georgia. Operation Not Forgotten. This is the U.S. Marshals. Again, you don't hear and see a lot about them. Nor does the media want to share a lot of what this administration is doing to rescue the vulnerable across not only uh, state lines, but international lines as well. But the marshals are doing a tremendous job. And this was another great, successful mission, Operation Not Forgotten. So hats off to the U.S. Marshals. Let's hit the phones. 800-282-2882. Uh, it's Open Line Friday. Frank in San Jose, California. Welcome to the Rush Limbaugh Show. Yes, sir. Thank you for taking my call. Yeah, I think uh, Biden's going to win. It's going to be close, and he's going to win because guys like me are staying home. I was on Team Trump, and now I'm not. And the reasons what? for that are the border, okay. the lockout, and the riots. Okay, explain the border. Why, what, what's, what's going on at the border that it's made you stay it's still, it's still porous. We don't have a wall. He should have sealed that border as soon as he took off. Okay, Frank, Before Frank, we do have a wall. We have 303 no, miles, uh, Frank, Frank, we have 303 miles of wall, and we're, we're averaging 10 miles a week, and we just got funding for another 700 miles. So well, far, what is the, what is the problem? The problem is it's still porous, and we still have not only people but drugs coming over here. That border Frank, should have been sealed with the army right away. So, so you're going to stay at home for that? I don't think Trump. I think Trump's dropped the ball. We have the lockout. He never. See, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't think that's what you think at all. I don't even think you're a Trumper. I don't think you ever were a Trumper, because I think no, anybody with any any anybody with common sense, Frank, would look at the last 47, 47 years of Joe Biden, and he's been full of crap and on the wrong side of history with every issue, and you would have looked at all the bonehead Republicans that said, we need to build a wall, we need to secure the border, and you would have looked at all the Democrats that said the same thing, and then you would have said, I know it's been a, only three years, a rough three years, but even in three years, President Donald J. Trump was able to throw down 300 miles of wall and approve another 700. So I would think the last thing you'd want to do is stay at home and, and risk a guy that said he's going to tear down the wall getting elected. You do know that Joe Biden already said that. He said we shouldn't have that wall there. I told you I was staying home. And, tr and Trump should have never locked up the economy either. Hillary Clinton would not have locked up the economy. Now, see, uh, thanks for calling, Frank. Now, now I know you're um, now I know you're on the I don't know what team I don't know if you're on. Team Trump, Hillary Clinton wouldn't have locked down the economy. The the governors of the states locked down the economy. President Trump wanted to keep the economy open. So either you are 
Uh, what do they call those seminar callers? You're either a seminar caller or you're, you haven't been informed. So what I would do is go to cspan.org and watch the entire week of this convention, and you'll be brought up to speed, and then I'll see you at the voting booth. We'll be right back. You're listening to the EIB Network. WBAP. Who is your wireless provider? Is it AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile? Switch to Pure Talk USA and save as much as 50% while using the exact same network as one of those carriers. Same towers, same coverage, but literally costs you half the amount every month. Nope, it's not too good to be true. It is Pure Talk USA with no contract, no excessive fees, and excellent customer service here in the USA. Right now, get unlimited talk, text, and two gigs of data, all for just $20 a month. The average person saving $400 a year on their wireless bill. So grab your mobile phone and dial pound 250 and say Pure Talk. When you do, you will save $250 off the purchase of any iPhone. Dial pound 250 and say Pure Talk. Pure Talk USA, simply smarter wireless. You'll have the option to receive a one-time auto-dialed text from Pure Talk. Imagine living with total confidence in both your health and appearance. 